So, welcome to Berlin, where the sun is shining, and I have uh, Kretura from Bergen, Norway with me. For beginning, could you tell us a bit about Kretura band? Who and what are you guys? Uh, well, we are a symphonic extreme metal band uh, with some female vocals, that's me, basically. And, uh, yeah. We have uh, released an album, which we are really proud of, Fall of the Seventh Golden Star. Uh, and thanks to that, I think that would be one of our greatest accomplishments, don't you think, Jorian? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I... Um, no, um, I, think, I think that's good. I think, that's sorry. good, yeah. <laughs> Okay, and uh, as you said, uh, your music has been labeled as uh, at some times uh, symphonic uh, black metal, and as you say, it's a uh, symphonic extreme metal. So, in your own words, in a more broad way, uh, how would you describe your music? Um, I think, um, yeah, there. I think the main reason why uh, we kind of call ourselves uh, symphonic extreme metal is because if we would call ourselves black metal then that would put us in a uh, box especially since we're from Norway and uh, being a black metal from band from Norway that would mean a certain type of music which we don't necessarily play we are inspired by black metal but we don't always play black metal if you understand what I mean so yeah Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think this the thing. The main thing is that um, the sounds, the soundscape is really. Um, it's more. It it has a different type of emotional feeling than you get from black metal. It's it's more intense. You know, it's more. It's a little bit more hardcore. Uh, in a way, um, it's not. Um, yeah. It. It's just in a more hardcore way. Uh, you get it's it's more extreme than a uh, than the bla black metal type of uh, sad type of sound. You know, it's it's more powerful than uh, than black metal in general. So, yeah, I think uh, I think that's why I consider it extreme metal and not black metal. Yeah. Uh, okay, uh, you mentioned your debut album, uh, Fall of the Seventh Golden Star, that was released last year. Uh, what could you tell us about that album? <coughs> well, the start off the whole album is a concept album where we uh, took a lot of inspiration from uh, mythologies and uh, religions and historical events and just uh, sort of mashed it up in a uh, outside perspective uh, viewing uh, the world and just like going through uh, every belief and every historical event uh, and then it the album ends with a, a new start and a new beginning to a, a new earth kind of in a way so uh, uh, yeah it's it's a it's a storyline if you want to uh, um, take a Listen to the lyrics, and uh, you get a whole story from the album. So, so uh, that's what I find interesting about our album. So yeah. I would just like to add also that, uh, musically speaking, it was the album that kind of, uh, because we were thinking of such a huge concept and we had this storyline we wanted to tell, uh, we also felt that we needed to really push ourselves musically and compose greater songs than we had ever done. So it was really like, uh, a huge development for us as a band, as a group, and it was really, it was kind of an experience to uh, to just uh, work towards a goal. That was really cool. <laughs> uh, okay, and uh, you are starting your uh, international uh, conquer as a band. So, uh, how was the album received? Uh, what kind of feeling you have about the album? Uh, I think it was received very well. I've seen a lot of great reviews, if I can brag a bit. <laughs> <Of course. laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
Yeah, I think it was really well received. Mm. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Okay, as you mentioned, uh, earlier in 2012 and 2013, you released uh, a couple of, uh, well, uh, they are now called EP and uh, demo, called uh, Monsters of Wonderland and When the Dead Goes to Dance. Uh, and you already uh, said a bit about how the band has grown, but how much growth was between those albums and the uh, new album that is uh, your debut? on a major, uh, not a major, but a label, <laughs> of course. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I th how to put it in words. It was, uh, for us, I think it was, uh, since we were thinking of this concept, this huge concept, we just had this uh, realization that we couldn't just, uh, we had to like have more complex music to accompany the storyline we had in mind uh, otherwise if we it was like um, before we had these like simple stories that were like easy to tell which and that and they were like they were really good it's not like I'm saying they were bad or anything like that but it was just that we needed a more complex sound and more um, a deeper lyrics and uh, that holded more um, uh, that had more depth basically. I also want to add that um, we also have had a lot of uh, change in band members and uh, by a lot I mean a lot uh, and um, I think I think now we're in this lineup where everyone is like thinking the same thing you know uh, reaching for the same goal and uh, and this all all of this contributes to what we have been doing now with the uh, with the label and uh, recording in Italy and uh, touring, we're like a huge family now, uh, a big happy family, you know, and uh, and um, yeah, so uh, so that's kind of I I like to look at the album as a like this birth of of our family, you know, of uh, great people thinking alike. So uh, yeah, that's um, that's a huge. Um, point in my book so yeah okay so your music is getting bigger in every sense uh, so from where do you draw inspiration for your music of course the all the myths but you have also taken a bit of a new uh, musical direction so uh, where does the inspiration come from for you guys <coughs> um, the thing is that we all, all of us have different uh, inspirations. Like uh, I myself, I'm a huge fan of rock and roll. I I really enjoy that. And we have black metal and uh, symphonic. Uh, I mean, like Nightwish and Dimmu Borgi. And uh, uh, so this is where we take the inspiration from. I think we also have people enjoying Eminem. You know, it's uh, yeah. So. Uh, um I just need to think a minute. I had a I had a good answer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um Can you ask the question again? Is it I don't know, it's just uh, from where all the inspiration comes from, from where do you draw inspiration? Yeah. Some other bands, some other resources. Yeah, uh yeah. So uh including music we also take inspiration from historical events and like I said, religious beliefs and mythologies and stuff like that. And um, but now we we're starting writing new songs, and we we want a deeper um, like now we want our emotions in the in the songs, you know, not just this happened and these people believe this, you know. We we want personal and emotional stuff that really means something to us. So I think we're gonna take a lot of inspiration from that from now on. Uh, I would also just like to add that uh, Kratora has always had this like storytelling uh, uh, kind of music. We've always had this uh, story that we wanted to tell. So that hasn't changed. It's just the main difference between our EPs and our debut album is that the stories got kind of bigger. <laughs> so there's that. Okay, and the uh, band's uh, hometown is Bergen, a uh, legendary metal uh, town or city. Uh, has the town 
uh, influenced your band in some ways. And uh, what does Bergen mean to you guys? Uh, since I'm not from Bergen, it's very easy for me to say that uh, Bergen really brought the metal head in me. Uh, I had never heard black metal or anything. I had only basically heard Nightwish throughout my whole life. And then I came to Bergen and I started listening to all different kinds of bands. And uh, so for me, it was uh, Bergen changed me musically, basically through the core. Uh, to me, the the stereotypical Bergen sound and music has uh, driven me to wanted to be a, a part of that. What is not typical Bergen, you know? It's uh, me personally. I've liked to stand out from the crowd, you know, not be not follow the sheep, you know. Uh, so uh, so this is. I think this is perfect for me. The band, you know, it's. Uh, It's not a typical sound from Bergen. It's, we do have some black metal, yeah, but uh, that's because of the interest in black metal, not because we're from Bergen. Um, so yeah, it's uh, it has driven me away from black metal instead of uh, just going along with the with the sheep, you know. So <laughs> and uh, you have toured already uh, northern and eastern Europe, and will probably tour a lot more. So, uh, how important are live performances for you guys? Uh, I love live performances. It's like, it's the thing I look forward to the most, basically. And going on tour, uh, it it feels like it's. We usually have. We don't really have those the long, the longest tours, but it feels like we are gone for months, and then we come back, and it's like we already miss it after just half a day. So. Uh, To us, going on tour and uh, being on stage, it's it's kind of where we belong. belong. <coughs> uh, to me, uh, live performances is uh, it's like a way of not just expressing yourself musically, but um, when you're performing, you're you're in this character, you know, and you want to you want to give the audience you you don't want to give like give them the feeling that oh shit, I should just sit home and listen to the CD. Like I want to give the crowd a, a extra for it, like coming to the show and uh, and yeah, just just showing them, giving the 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 looks, you know, the the cinematics, I guess it's the word. I don't know, but uh, so so it's not just not not just music, but it's also uh, like this cinematic type of uh, experience that the crowd's got when we perform live. So that's really important for me, uh, personally. Yeah. And uh, looking in the future, uh, let's say, uh, for example, where do you see uh, Kretura in a couple of years? What are your future plans? Uh, well, that's a big question, really, because um, You know, we I think we're kind of the band that likes to just think of uh, the next step, which is usually just not really far ahead in the future. But of course, I would wish that we'd be touring the whole world and, you know, we have released a couple of albums and everything. So that's my uh, truly my deepest wish for this ba for this band. <coughs> uh, personally, I believe that we got something that can <laughs> that uh, people can enjoy you know so if we keep this pace up I think we can like get a name for ourselves you know get a reputation in 10 years uh, I don't think any one of, of us would like to at some point stop doing this it's uh, it's been such a part of uh, such a huge part of our lives now and, uh, and it still is and it I can't imagine it slowing down so uh, So yeah, if we keep this up, I think something good will come out of it. We're gonna give it all. <laughs> okay. So Sara, uh, for our Finnish viewers, uh, you were actually born in Finland, uh, and even more so, you are Same. So uh, uh, does that affect anyhow 
in the way you make music or in the way uh, you perform? Do you think? Uh, do you bring some of the same? Of course, the Finnish is not that big of a deal, but uh, do you bring some of same in your music? Uh, I would just I would just like to correct that I'm technically born in Norway in Kirkenes, but I grew up until I was five years in Finland. So just getting that out <laughs> cleared. <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I am Sama, and um, uh, my uh, my identity is really important to me. And uh, we've been having some Sami lyrics in uh, our band, uh, and also. We've been we've taken some uh, small inspirations from uh, Sami mythology, but uh, of course I am uh, I really want to bring in some more Sami some of m- more of my heritage I- heritage into the band, and um, uh, yeah it's it's just it's a really I can't really imagine what it's like to be Norwegian I can't imagine what it is to be Finnish because I am Sami. And that's just who I am, and uh, so naturally, I would just think that I am already bringing uh, my culture, my language, everything into the band because it's just a natural part of me. Okay, thank you very much, guys, and uh, break like tonight. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much.